Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel again, nice to see you. Um, today I've got a bit of a confession to make, I don't know if it's a dirty thing or not, but I feel a bit unclean, I've done a bad thing. I've bought a fish from a big box store. So, everyone's favourite punch bag, the big box stores. So in the US you've got your pet codes, your pet smart here in the UK, we've got pets at home. I have made videos in the past talking about them and how I didn't really like the way that they've been dealing with the fish, treating the fish, and some of the even the basic principles of the things that they stand by. I don't want to just go to town on them, but it is what it is. So I was there at the weekend, um, I was picking up some insects, locusts and things like that for some of my other critters that I've got around here. And I always like to go and have a look at the fish while I'm in there. I very rarely buy anything, but they did have a really nice bit of fish. So let me cut there, we'll go and have a look at him first. So, say what you like about pets at home and that kind of place, but every now and again they have some really nice fish. And this one just appealed to me, I don't know if it's just me and I'm totally wrong and it's a horrible fish, but I liked it. stood there for what must have been 10 minutes watching this person clean all the tanks and ignoring me completely and what really annoyed me was that once she ignored me completely she then served two other people before she got to me but anyway I'm not bitter what I did see was when she was cleaning all the tanks she was cleaning all the tanks with the same hose and that included those tanks with the sick fish in them so I have some fundamental problems with the way that pets at home, certainly the branches that I visited, I don't know if it's a nationwide thing, um, I just don't agree with some of the practices, so that's why I very rarely buy fish. The main thing that I don't like is the, the way that they run their tanks on central systems. So if you go into a pets at home, generally you'll see a rack of fish tanks, and maybe two, one other two, another two, or maybe three, 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 something like that. But if you look underneath them, you'll see they're all running on a single sump. So it's generally one rack will run off one sump. Absolutely nothing wrong with that um, as a technique to look after your tanks. But what it does mean that if you have a problem in one of your tanks, then that problem is circulating through to all of your tanks because it's all being filtered under the same sump. Quite standard, straightforward, you would think. Um, the problem that I had was when I was there at the weekend, they had one of the tanks was off sale because they said they had a problem. They put up these stickers that say, eh, this tank is being treated. Sorry, these fish are not for sale. And you could see through or you could see past the, the bit of card that they had up. And it was quite clearly a bad case of ick. There was lots of little fish. I think they were mollies, lots of little fish covering the white spots, looking a bit ropey, not very happy with themselves. But on the rest of that rack where all the other fish, so there was guppies, there was scrubensis, there was um, endlers, I think they had some garamis on that rack as well. They're all going to have that as well because they're sharing in that same water. And I tried to point this out to the person that was working there but they weren't in the fish department and they just gave me one of those looks that's a bit like... So that's generally why I don't buy fish there. I mean, this isn't just an attack on pets at home. I've had some really good experiences. I always like to go and listen in whenever I, I'm in there and see what kind of advice they're giving out. And some of the people in there, they're obviously fish keepers. They've obviously got the best interests of the fish at heart and they do know what they're talking about. Most of them are very knowledgeable. Um, I think most of the problems come in when it's someone from a different department that's covering or something like that along those lines, I don't know. One of the other problems I used to <laughs> make me laugh was if I can find the picture I'll show you, they used to always say, now the fish health is our number one priority, please make sure that you fill your tank and wait three days before you, ask, you add your first fish. 
I did ask them at the time, why are you waiting three days? And they gave me some spiel about how it was because that would allow the water to mature and make sure that the environment was ready. And nothing about filtration or anything like that. So as far as they were concerned, throw in some water, wait three days, throw in some fish, everyone's a winner. <laughs> Laughably, they'd actually changed this the other day. So the sign that had wait three days, someone who watched it, it was an official thing, it had cut out a sticker that said one and slapped that over the top of the tree. So now they only want you to wait one day. Which, hey, have fair enough by me, I guess. It's pointless waiting three days, so it's no more or less pointless to wait one day. The girl that was serving people there um, was telling everyone who was asking about fish. Uh, how long have you had your tank? And they're stood there with a the tank under their arm going, well, I've just bought it now. She says, it's right. What you need to do, get yourself off home, fill that up with water, come back tomorrow and we'll get you some fish for your fish tank. The other thing that I noticed there, apart from terrible customer service on that particular day, was the biosecurity. So I, I said, I want to get this little betta fish. It was the only fish that was in the system. Um, the bet system is one of the ones at this particular pet's home that is uh, isolated, it's on its own little thing. Um, as I said, can I have this fish please? I like the look of that. Yep, no problem. Uh, how long did the tank been running? Great, they're asking me questions. So I told them, yeah, years and years. What else is in there? Nothing, just snails. Absolutely fine. Uh, didn't ask me about filtration or heating or any of those things, but yeah, yeah they could tell they weren't the fish person on that day. She went to the system that had the these fish are in quarantine, so the one with the ick, grabbed the net from the sump for that and went to get my fish and I had to go, no, don't do that please. She said, oh, I think that might be from the sick fish, so I really don't want to catch that sickness here. So, yeah, no problem, so they gave me it. Um, marked it up as a crown tail better. No idea why, but great, because it was £2 cheaper than the ones that they actually was, and sent me on my way. It was a lucky escape, and I think it's only because I kind of know what I'm doing that I managed to get away with that. That's why I would normally tell people don't go here, go and support your local fish store, and um, that's what we want to be seeing. I just happened to be in there, took a fancy to that little fish, and, and picked him up. Um, while I don't want to just completely slate everything about pets at home, because like I say, I have met some people who worked there who were really knowledgeable, um, I remember having a discussion about how to sex various types of fish uh, when they were selecting fish for another person I thought, yeah, this guy knows what he's on about. There was another lady that worked there that knew all the history about where the fish came from, how they were imported, how they treated them. Um, she was doing some things that weren't necessarily store policy to give the fish a bit more of a chance. So there are definitely people who care about the animals that work there. They do do some good things, so I know they no longer sell things like common plecos or any of these monster tank busters and all that kind of stuff. So that does deserve some kind of praise. Um, they do run lots of sessions and i noticed some signs up where they do feeding at particular times and they bring in people to talk about fish health and things like that. So that's all good stuff. But it's the really easy stuff. You think, why are you letting yourselves down so badly with this? That's my little bit of a rant. Um, I wish I could get in touch with someone at Pets at Home. I would email them, but I think that would just fall on deaf ears or blind eyes. How does that work? <sighs> what have your experiences been like? So let me know in the comments. Have you been to a Pets at Home or one of these big box stores and seen some terrible um, sites and heard some terrible advice? Um, it always makes me laugh when I read some of these things. But like I say, don't go attacking pets at home and generalising too much because that's just not the way to do it and I would encourage everyone to support your local fish store if you've got a good one. Um, I've got a couple of decent ones around here and uh, pets at home isn't necessarily one of them but support your local fish stores because it's, it's a really hard business out there and if you lose some of that um, specialist knowledge, specialist care and advice um, I think the world would be a well, the fish keeping world would be a, a lot worse off for it. So anyway, that was just a quick one. Just wanted to show off my new fish. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. As always, click that subscribe button, share this video, like, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch up with you in the next one. If you watched my previous video, you know I was moaning about my air pump. So if you can hold in the suspense, the new air pump is on the way. So that'll be the next video. So I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.